Computers in general are great for children. They're both fun and educational. But keeping your kids safe whilst using computers is of the greatest importance. Luckily, with a Mac, you've got all the tools you need to keep your kids safe whilst using your Mac. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up parental controls in Yosemite to give you peace of mind. So, let's get started. Firstly, it's best to create a separate account for your kids, as parental controls work in conjunction with individual accounts. It will also prevent your children from changing the settings you put in place, as long as their account isn't one with administrator status. Whilst on your administrator account, go to System Preferences and then Users and Groups. Next, highlight the user you would like to set up the limitations on, and click Open Parental Controls. You'll then be greeted with five tabs. Firstly, Apps. Here, you can choose which apps you would like your child to have access to, and which ones they shouldn't. So, if it's just for homework and gaming, you can just enable the games and apps you deem appropriate, such as pages and numbers. There's also the option for a simplified finder, which is great if they're new to using your Mac. The second tab is for website restrictions. Here, you can create a list of sites that they're allowed to visit, or let your Mac try and guess for you by limiting access to adult websites automatically. Then, there's the people tab. You can restrict access to certain contacts in both messages and mail. You can also check who they're exchanging emails with who aren't on your pre-approved list by getting an email request to your account before any are sent or received, which is extremely handy in preventing unwanted emails going to your child. Number five is time limits. We're always hearing that children are too glued to technology and need to get outside more. Well, you can limit the time they spend on your Mac to a set amount of hours a day and even allowing them longer at weekends. Also, completely blocking out access during the hours when they should be asleep. Finally, the other tab. It allows you to prevent them from using the camera, hiding profanity in the dictionary, limiting printer administration so they don't mess up your settings, along with disabling the ability to change their password and getting themselves locked out. So there you have it, your children should be a lot safer whilst using your Mac and browsing online. If you've got any more tips, let me know in the comments down below as I'd love to try them out. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below as it really does help us out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll see you next time.